Alright, so uh, let's hit the hay and get ready for another day of exciting farming. Ooh. Or at least however much farming my budget allows. Right? Well, you will be getting... All right. Well, you, you did get the free... Radder seeds, of course. Yeah. Free radder seeds. Looking nice. So radishes, a red, take four to five days to grow. Okay, okay, let's get to work. Let's water the radishes. So, do you have to rewater your plants every day? Yes, every single day. So, what happens if you miss a day? They'll dry out. Can. By dry out, do you mean they'll die, or can you still revive them? You can revive them, but you might want to. Like, I think it's just. They give you, like, a day leeway or something. And if you wait like two days, they'll die. Okay. So you gotta keep on top of watering those plants. Mm -hmm. Now let's just check out the town. You know what we can do? We can buy some more seeds. Wonder what kind of seeds you're gonna have in stock. Hey there, Audrey. There's a lot of stuff. Aww. She thinks she's a queen. Oh wait, she's an actress. And a ballet dancer, not royalty. But apparently she's not marryable. Nope. Oh There's look! Six girls you can marry discounting DLC. Oh look, this time I got here too early. Well, this is wonderful. Last time I got in too late, shops were closed. This time too early, shops were closed. Blech. Too bad. Look sleepy. Not good to stay up late last night. I think the game's trying to tell me something. Mm-hmm. Okay, well... Oh my, I got an event. Who? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's, uh, do some jobs while we wait. So, it's gonna need produce, milk, and flowers. Okay, we could do flowers. You want to make sure to get that. No, don't do that. Unless you actually have vegetables on you, because... Well, I don't have vegetables, I don't have milk. I have neither cows and rashes will take a while. So, basically, all I can do is go and pick flowers at this point. Mm-hmm. So, like, I need jobs in order to actually be able to expand my farm, but yet the jobs that are offered I can't actually do because I, mean, some of them I don't can, have a farm. But... Yeah, but it's like it's like a catch-22. Oh, look, I can't pick flowers either because they're not fully grown. And these things apparently I can't pick at all. Nope. So this is kind of inconsistent, there's a bunch of flowers, but most apparently you can't even interact with them. What's this thing? That's oh, a walnut. Walnut is a type of seed, isn't it? Oh, you can go under the waterfall, this is cool. Oh, it's this other kid. Come on, why can't I talk to you? It's Colin. Oh, hello, Colin. It's nice to meet you, too. Okay. So, I'm not seeing flowers I can actually pick up, so... Well, this is kind of catch-22, huh? Those aren't you'll know when they're ready when they start sparkling okay great so you can pick can up I... the yellow ones yes you can there we go morning cl morning cloak that's a pretty grim name for a flower no it's not the flower it's, it's moon then why did I, I pick can... up a morning cloak no that's the um echo no it's 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 not the flowers it's actually the insects that you're interacting with I say. It's 
So where's this morning cloak I picked up? You don't pick it up, you just look at it. Okay, well, that was confusing. Which is also odd, considering that in the past games you could pick up insects and give them to people as presents. So there's no bug catching here, huh? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, blue magic, weeds. Kitsune, which unfortunately you can't take home and adopt. Doesn't really like you. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so how many flowers do I have? I have three flowers. Okay, so let's go drop off the flowers and back to town. Ah, uh, the flora farm, which is... Did you need three or four? Three. Oh, well, look okay. at this. Where are we going to find the flowers? At the flora farm. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, so... To complete the quest, we just throw in flowers. These are worth 90, these are worth 60. Okay, I'll throw in this one as well. Oh, okay, so you can just make money by like putting random junk in the shipping box and I'll, I'll, I'll sell it for you at the end of the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I guess even if jobs aren't showing up, I guess that's a way to do it. You know, it's not like Rune Factory 4 where you can actually go out and like hunt uh, enemies and monsters and get sick loot and just drop it off and sell that, huh? Okay, well that should be that job. Okay, our shop series. Okay, shops are open now. Wow, this event is taking forever. Wait, the shop is closed. So what time do your shops open? 10 a.m. They... Yes, these are actually no. Oh yeah, yeah, they open at 10. Wow, so which we're being. These people sure aren't early yeah. risers. It, it, it depends on the town, though. Like, some of them open earlier, some of them close. So, I get the feeling that people at West Town are lazy. They, well, like, actually, they, no. like, they like to sleep this, at late. This is pretty standard, like... Like, their schedule's pretty standard. If anything, the laziest group is the Coco. Like, sure, they open up, like, early. But they close for lunch for a couple hours, and then they come back. And the post office is called Postino. Wow. Yes. Wow, this is a post office. This place looks like looks like a bar, not a post office. Is the post office illicitly running a bar in the back? Is that what's going no. on? No, that's Wayne's house. So Wayne lives at a post office. Mm-hmm. So the the, po the post delivery guy lives at the post office, not the guy yes. who actually runs the post office. That's well, Ethan. Well, actually, but... he does partially run the post office, so yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, there's the opening hours. Close Saturday or Sunday. Typhoons, blizzards, and festivals, and they'll open until three. Wow. So anyway, I'll be sure not to mail any letters if there's a blizzard or a typhoon going on. Okay, welcome, mon client privilege, to Bon Charm. Okay, so she's French. I can buy cinnamon and walnut. I'm guessing those are needed for cooking, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, this shop is closed anyway, and, uh... The general store with Cortez and his pirate loot. Look at this, it's even called Gulliver, after Gulliver, like the guy who gets lost and at sea in like the classic children's tale. Oh, these people talk so western. So let's see, grass seeds, mint. Wait a sec. Okay, so grass, animal feed. Wait a moment, so like, where do I buy seeds to like, grow things? You buy them from the general store at the top. 
Oh. All things beastly. Wait, breed animals? What? You can't do that. You have to get animals first. Like, you need, like let's say you want to breed a cow. Like, you have to actually okay, have a so cow beforehand. There's cows with different personalities and different designs. Maybe that's cool. Aww. There's several different patterns cows can have. That's really cute. Oh my goodness, chickens. Yes, chickens. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. And I can't afford one. Okay, so, uh... These shops have nothing for me. Well, that's what happens when you leave a generic NPC to run a shop. Well, no, like... I, th I don't remember if you already did this, but they tell you about town links. And... What you do is you befriend, like, the town, essentially, and you sell things to them, you go to their festivals and whatnot. And their inventory and will And it will up. increase your rank, and as the rank increases, you'll have more options in the shops. Okay. Okay, so I guess the poultry selection for now will improve over time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can potted plants in fields. So soil increases your yield, huh? Or whatever. Okay, sure. So let's buy some potato seeds or radishes. Potato. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna run a potato farm. Ooh, fertilizer's nice and cheap. Sparkly fertilizer. Okay, there we go. That's what I need. I'm gonna invest in potatoes. You hear that? Mm hmm. Investing in potatoes. Wait, how much food do I have? Two potato breads. So, if you buy food, can you store it? Yes, you can. Hey, Carrie, what's up? Yeah, that's a good point. This town does have a lot of staircases. Yeah, they're good exercises. Unfortunately, you can't, like, jump down them. And the restaurant's closed. Wonderful. You know, this whole business hour thing is, like, really inconvenient. Indeed it is. So, like, is there any place you can get, you can get like, cheap food? Not particularly. So you're stuck paying like huge money for, for the restaurant. Well, the point is that the game wants you to make your own food. But I don't have a kitchen! How am I supposed to make my own food I know, if I don't have a kitchen? I you're gonna have to deal with that for a while. Like, don't they have a grocery store? Yes, they do. Kind of. I mean, like... That doesn't sell food. Oh, no. Okay, well... What is this? Is this a rat? This is not a rat. It's like a weasel or something. What is this creature? Is this a mongoose? Mongoose. There's another one. Well, I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm going to carry it around. Put it down. No, I'm going to carry mongoose around. Why? <laughs> because it looks funny. It's not gonna let me take let me take mongoose home, is it? It's probably not a mongoose, but that's what I'm it. See, like like some animals you can pet, but some animals you, instead of petting, you like pick up and carry them around. All right, back to farming. Okay, so do you gotta put fertilizer before or after planting seeds? After. Okay, thank you for the expert advice. Radishes. And potatoes. Or do they call them potatoes around this part? I say potato. I mean, the saying goes potato, potato, tomato, tomato, and yet I have never in my life heard someone actually say potato outside of that particular saying. Neither. 
Yeah. Okay, there we go. Gotta eat some potato bread so that I can plant some potatoes. Yep, hard work down to farm. Make sure to eat. Yes, my uh, last piece of potatoes. Okay, there you go. I keep pressing the wrong button. Apparently, in this game, eating can be a bit confusing too. But thank you very much for the reminder, Blue. You might want to water your plants. Not waste all your energy. On hose. Yeah. Yeah, because I might run out of energy. So what do I do when I'm out of energy and I have no food to eat? Well, then you go to sleep. So what you're saying is that I'm going to be so tired that I'm going to be out of energy by, like, 2 p.m.? Is that how this game works, really? Also, you didn't water the top left corner. Okay, well, I... Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <sighs> this is too real. Go to sleep, go to sleep, but it's only 2 p.m., darling. That's us. Do not use that nickname. Yep, because that one's reserved reserved purely for Wayne, right? <sighs> Still hate you for that. Okay, <laughs> so I was gonna check. Well, I, I guess I don't have. Do I have anything more edible? No, that's not what I want to look at. Uh, can I eat a walnut? I mean, it's not going to give you a lot. There we go. I can eat walnuts. Okay, that that gave me like the, almost nothing. You know what? I'm just going to like throw down some fertilizer and go to sleep. Get fertilized potatoes. Oh, great. Looks like I can't even do that because I'm about to pass out. It's uh, 2 a.m. and I'm 2 p.m. and I'm going to be. I'm going to pass out from tiredness. Although, in all honesty, all I had to eat for the day was two pieces of potato bread and, uh, and a walnut. Yep. But guess what? The stores don't sell any food. So I can't eat it even if I wanted to because the stores don't sell food. What well, have I gotten actually, myself into? There's actually a way around this. Yes. You can go at certain times to people's houses and they will be eating lunch and you can eat alongside them and it will bring back your stamina. Well, thank you for the pro tip. I'll have to take care of that and make use of it and make use of that in uh, the future because uh, right now I'm just like I'm basically starving. I'm dirt poor and starving, so I guess I've got to booch off others launches until mm -hmm. I can actually afford a kitchen of my own apparently. Since stores don't sell food except for a restaurant which costs like an arm and leg for lunch. Wow, this is too real. Well, 3 p.m. time to go to bed for tonight. Alright, well, I guess that's uh, enough for this episode. So, uh, this has been Still Good Night. Thank you very much for watching. If you're subscribing to my channel for more Story of Seasons and other cool premium content, this is Still Good Night, signing off.